Good morning everyone, Diane here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Today is Wednesday, the 19th of October. I'm going to do today's uh, video in a vlog style because I've been running since 8 and it's what now? It's 11. It's been three hours and I don't feel like sitting down. <laughs> okay. So my calendar says today's the 18th, which means it's week 42 in our 52 weeks of dishcloths. Now, if you recall, two weeks ago, I had uh, gave you a given you a preview of the um, starflower, the starflower uh, dishcloth. wasn't sure I was going to be able to handle it, but I did it. Let me turn this around and I'll show you. Here we are. Here's the starflower. Ta-da! We <laughs> hold it up. As you can, it's getting the light. That might be better. It starts off in the middle on um, double points or magic loop and you do all the, all the circle and then once you have the circle done you do the points and I thought I would be stumped by the points but I read it and read it and read it because as you can see in the instructions that's the graph and I I couldn't quite understand it until I read just this little bit of text that told you that you're working sort of um, perpendicular to the circle. So I struggled and I got it. And then after I do my, um, after I do the dishcloths, if there's going to be a link, I look it up after I do it to see if there's a free link for you to follow. And not only did I find a link, I found a video that shows you exactly how to do those points. So if you feel like you want to tackle it and haven't done something like that before, makes it really easy. So uh, yeah, I would suggest looking at the video. They'll both be down in my description box. In the links below, in the in the in the, the the links will be below in the description box. I'm just walking around because I've been running since eight. My dogs had to go to the uh, groomer this morning, so I dropped them off for eight. It's now eleven. I expect that any time I'll be getting the phone call to go pick them up. I have uh, had to stop at the uh, I stopped at Walmart to buy a few groceries because today's menu was going to be um, chicken soup and uh, roast. Roasted meat, loaf, potatoes, carrots, etc. And I needed to buy a hamburger and I needed to buy some chicken. So I went and picked those things up. I also needed to go to Walmart for light cream for my coffee, but they were out. Oh, still a shortage. I'll have to go later to uh, Price Right. Also, my prescriptions are ready as of yesterday, but the pharmacy doesn't open till 9, and I couldn't hang around long enough. I couldn't hang around till 9, so I, I'm going to try and go soon, and hopefully the, the uh, groomer will call and say the dogs are ready. Um, it's been a hectic weekend. I did Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at the quilt show. Worked, worked those three days. It was a blast. I really enjoyed it. I took a video. It's I can link it below. I it, it posted Sunday, I think. Yeah, that was the day after the um, that was the day after the show. And then that day I went to part two of the inheritance at Trinity Rep, which was part two was also a three hour two intermission show. So that was a long day. By the time I got home, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. <laughs> Monday was a dentist appointment. Was it Monday? Yes. Yesterday was Tuesday and I didn't have to do anything. So I started, I, I must be getting into the winter mode because I descaled my curry coffee pot and I sandblasted the stove. <laughs> well, that's what I call it, but I only really use like the Mr. Clean, the Mr. Clean sponge and the uh, SOS pads. But I did the, so my, uh, as you can see, my coffee pot's there, so I started there, and then I did the stove. Next is the fridge, and I'm going to keep going all along the kitchen and get all these things straightened out. And then, of course, this, the major sewing area upstairs. And I told you a couple of weeks ago I was going to be making this Scotty Dog quilt. Well, I'm so excited because I have all the pieces done. Everything's done. Everything's cut and placed. There are 12 blocks. They all look like this. Although they're all different because I just randomly picked the squares. So there'll be 12 blocks. And then each block... Get all this stuff. Each block has a border. Like that. 
and the borders are already cut and ready to go. They're already put together. They don't look like borders now, but that's what they are. And so this area all needs straightening out, but I'm also doing the downstairs. Oh, my phone is ringing. Let's see if it's cozy quarters. It is. It's cozy quarters. I have to say goodbye. It's time to go pick up the dog. See you next week. Here I am <clears throat> on my way to cozy quarters. It was kind of an abrupt goodbye, so I thought I'd let you check out. <laughs> this is right off the highway on 146 in Lincoln, I think we are, or maybe North Smithfield. And um, this is a dead end street, and the groomer, and they're also uh, boarding, animal boarding, is located right at the dead end. It's a beautiful property. And as you can see, it's fall in New England. The trees are just beautiful. Here we go. I should have taken my camera. This is on my phone. Don't know how well it's recording. Um, luckily, no one else is picking up. It's always a hassle to have two, <laughs> two cars or a truck on this road, but it happens. We get by. Coming up on it. And it's right up here on the left, as you can see, cozy quarters. Oh, they're taking out the trash. Okay, well, there's the, the boarding place. Be right out. Hey, Molly. Hey, Oliver. Do you look pretty now? Huh? Are you looking pretty good? Let's see. Yeah. Molly, can I see you? Let me go. Let me go in the front. Get a better picture. <sighs> you can hear the dogs barking. Those are the boarders. <laughs> The guys that are being boarded. Hi, guys. You look beautiful. This is the only time you look this good. Hey, Oliver, give me a peek. Oliver. Okay. All right. Time to go home.